Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. And you know, if you're a kind of an at-home user like me when you need power tools, uh, you're probably gonna need you know, a half-inch impact wrench, you might need a 3 8 inch impact wrench, of course you're gonna need an impact driver like you have over here, uh, but you may not need, you know, half-inch uh, all the time. Uh, you might need, might not even need 3 8 inch all the time. So that can kind of be kind of tricky because now you're talking about having three different power tools here. So you might, you might be wondering, well, can I get away with just using an impact driver or there's something else I can do with maybe just one impact wrench and an impact driver? Well, yes, there is options you can do for kind of all of those uh, different solutions, but let me show you why I might have a better solution when you balance out between a half inch impact wrench and an impact, impact driver. So I always thought it was really cool when I first discovered the adapters for an impact driver. And these are just the regular, you know, adapters. You snap them right into an impact driver and they're good to go. I got a 3 8 one here and I've got a half inch one over here. Now, the big issue you're gonna find with these is that when you really need to put a lot of torque, you're gonna start busting these off. And I have busted a number of these as well, trying these over the years, um, especially when you go up to the half inch uh, sockets. But the one big downside that a lot of people overlook right away is now the overall length of your tool. So I'm at just over six inches here. Uh, actually, my tools, my uh, tools here already fully extended. I'm probably at about 6.25 inches there. So uh, almost six and a half inches, six, six and a quarter inches there from front to back here. And that's not even with a socket on just yet. Here, if I put a socket on, look at how far back my tool becomes now. So I've got a ton of tool here between my socket and the back end of my tool. So those, those adapters really add a ton of length to your tool. Something to definitely be aware of. But if we move over to the impact wrench here, how do I use a 3 8 inch socket on my half inch impact wrench? Well, they also make adapters for those. And so, all right, so they don't actually add that much length onto the impact wrench. So I'm at now total 5.79 inches there. And if I take this off, I will now have I'm at 4.95 inches there. So adding just a little bit over an inch there to my impact wrench by then converting it from half inch to 3 eighths. Now I'm sure you're wondering, hey, what if I have a 3 eighths impact driver? Should I convert that to half inch? Well, yeah, that's totally fine to do. Um, but I will say for longevity and durability, I would say start with the half inch impact wrench. Having this larger anvil on here and then converting it to something smaller, that is, you know, pretty much like lifetime warranty. This is just the Pittsburgh impact adapter here with a lifetime warranty. I'd rather break this piece than I would break off the 3 8 inch anvil. I'm not saying that necessarily gonna break that anvil, but I'd rather have the tougher piece on the piece that I can't replace as easy, like the impact wrench. So by converting it to go down smaller, it'll actually give me a bit of um, less power when I use this adapter. I can also, of course, you know, put it down to a lower power mode. When I'm using a 3 8 inch socket, I don't necessarily need as much power as I would with a half inch socket. So that's a great way to basically have half inch and 3 8 inch without buying both tools because I don't necessarily need to use both tools all the time or even at the same time. So it kind of gives you an advantage there by just having you know certain tools with certain adapters. And you know, this is just kind of my recommended, recommended way to do it. You can do it however you want, uh, but this is probably the way that will give you the most durability and reliability with your tools is to just go from the largest and then adapt down. You don't want to necessarily you don't want to avoid adapting up but it just gives you a little more durability there. Uh, the same thing when you're using your impact driver. You wanna be careful when using, you know, going up to like a half inch socket. I've got one of the larger icon sockets here. This is gonna be a 19, and this thing is an absolute beast when you put this on here. But if you look at my weakest point now of this entire tool is gonna be the adapter right here. So is that gonna cause an issue with the impact driver? Eh, probably not, but am I gonna probably bust this off here pretty quick? Yeah, you, yeah, sure I will. Definitely will be busting that off pretty easily. So just something to be aware of guys, and uh, hopefully this helps, you know, maybe save a little bit of money. No one necessarily need to buy an extra tool you don't need, uh, but hope this, help, hope this helps guys, and uh, take care guys.